Hi, my name is Eric Salomon. I'm broadcasting to you today from my workbench here at Guitar Repair Long Island in New York. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to restring a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, proper restringing technique is an important skill for any stringed instrument player. It helps your guitar to play and sound its best and spare you the inconvenience of broken strings while performing or practicing. Here we go. The tools you're going to need to do this job properly is a string winder, such as this one, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a guitar tuner. Let's get started. So we'll start by removing the strings from the guitar. Some, fee some people feel more comfortable removing one string at a time. Um, if you're afraid something's going to move on you, you can absolutely do that. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't just remove them all at once though. So we're going to put the winder on the tuner and turn it clockwise to loosen the string. And then we'll just pull it off. You want to make sure you keep your finger away from the tuner when you're pulling that bit out because um, those string ends can be sharp and they can catch you. Some players also leave the, the ends of their strings a little longer. You'll want to make sure you clip any of those before you go and unwind them because the, the end of the string can scratch the faceplate. Good, so once the strings are all off the top, we can go ahead and clip them a little closer to the bottom. A set of uh, diagonal cutters will also do this job just fine. I'll wrap the strings up so they don't get loose and put them right in the garbage. Now we've got to get the strings out of the back of the guitar. So to do this, uh, I'm going to take the back plate off the instrument just so that you can more easily see what's going on. With the plate removed, you can see the strings starting to poke their way out of the back of the tremolo block. With your hand on the other side, you can just sort of push them out. Sometimes you'll have a situation where a string gets stuck in the block and doesn't want to come out. An easy way to help that along is to use one of the other strings you've removed and just push through on the front and then you'll see the string start to force its way out the back and then you can get it out. So with the strings removed, this would be a good time to do any, any cleaning, maybe get some of the dust off from un underneath the pickups. Just use a, a paintbrush or a lint-free cloth to do that. Uh, if any of the tuners up here are loose, uh, if you have a wrench handy, you can tighten them up as well. And now we're ready to restring it. Need a fresh pack of strings. Uh, an important thing to note is if you're just restringing the guitar, you'll want to be sure to use the same gauge of strings that is on the instrument to avoid any issues with the setup that might occur from putting on a heavier or a lighter gauge of strings. So with the strings out of the package, you're going to put the string through the appropriate hole in the tremolo block and then it'll poke its way through the other side and you pull it through and you'll repeat this step for all six strings.
with all the strings through. You set the guitar down on the bench and you're ready to start winding them. So I'll start with the sixth string, but it doesn't matter which, whichever you prefer. Um, there are a few different ways to do this properly, um, a few different techniques. However, there are also definitely a number of ways to do this that are incorrect. So I'm going to show you the way I like to do it and give you a few pointers. First, I like to line up the, the hole in the tuning peg so that I can slide the string right through. I will get the string so that it's about straight and the goal is to make sure we end up with two to three windings around this peg. So in order to consistently do that, what I like to do is grab the string at the nut and pull back about a fret and a half. And this gives me enough slack to get the amount of winds that I want. I'm going to take the first wind of the string and I'm going to do it by hand. I'm going to wrap above, above where the string goes through, if you can see that there. And then I will sort of push this up. And now with tension on my right hand, you know, just moderate tension, I can hold that string in place while I wind. And all the following wraps are going to go down the peg. So using my winder again, I'm going to wind counterclockwise making sure that the windings sit comfortably. You don't want to see it wrapped up on top of itself. And that's the first string. When it's on, you can use your cutter. Get in there close, no need, no need to leave tons of space. You don't want it to catch your hand later on. And just remove the excess string. And we're going to repeat that for the remaining five strings. Once again, I'm pulling about a fret and a half back. I also want to stress the importance of the direction with which I'm wrapping this over. I'm always thinking of going towards the inside of the tuning machine. If it's a three by three headstock on the other side, that's gonna mean wrapping the other direction. Just always think you wanna to wrap towards the center of the headstock. So in this case, I'm going up and around so that the string can pull straight through the nut. Don't be discouraged if this takes you a while at first, or if you end up maybe kinking the string in the wrong spot and having to throw it out. It's, it's a learning process. You'll have it smooth in no time. Now with your unwound strings, which on a typical electric guitar is gonna be your first, second, and third, that being the high E, the B, and the G string, I wanna get a little extra winding around the post. So instead of pulling back a fret and a half, I'm going to pull back a, two, a full two frets. The rest of the process is the same. Make sure you get that string underneath the string guide. Once you've got all the strings on the guitar, it's time to tune it. I'm going to be using a uh, Daddario Planet Waves headstock tuner here. And I'm not going to be too particular just yet about getting it perfectly in tune. You'll see why in a second. Once you've got the instrument roughly in tune, the next and very important step is to stretch the strings. What I'm going to do is just lift the string with two fingers and just give it a give it a light tug along the whole length maybe even wiggle it side to side for all six strings we're doing this so that the string seats itself and gets comfortable and wants to stay in tune you can also maybe push down on the string right where it hits the bridge or right behind the nut and then we'll retune. That's how you restring a Fender Stratocaster electric guitar. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. 
Be sure to change your strings regularly as it's one of the best things you can do to keep your guitar playing and sounding great. Thank you.